So we're back at the overlocker and we're going to sew the neckband into the neckline of the t-shirt. We're going to start off at um, the seam that we've matched up with our shoulder. Now you could make a decision to place the seam of the neckband at the centre back and that would be fine. Um, you just want it to be um, in an area that's not really visible. So I've decided I want to put it on the shoulder seam but you could line it up with the centre back notch if you wanted to. So because we've done that tacking it's going to be quite easy, we won't need to use pins. We're just starting off close to that, that shoulder seam and you'll need to um, lift the presser foot of the overlocker and get the work in under there as close as you can and then just run onto it as you go. So I'm just going to make sure that your shoulder seam is pushed towards the back and that it's sitting nice and flat under there and then just start sewing. And then what, once it's held, the work's held there, you can go to your next point which is my quarter way mark and what you're doing is you're just stretching the neckband out to meet the fabric. Now you don't want to stretch, stretch the fabric so don't overstretch it but just try and line it up so that the edges are even and it's just stretching out to meet the fabric. Just make sure that the t-shirt the fabric's not curling, make sure it's sitting nice and flat. When you're happy that that's lined up really nicely, you can sew around to the quarter way mark. Just stop if you need to. You want to sew it, you don't want to cut anything off because you've only got six millimeters seam allowance but you want it to be stitched right on the edge of the fabric. So then when you get around to the quarter way mark, you can stop again, have a look at your next seam. You've got a shoulder seam there, make sure it's facing towards the back with the right side of the overlocking on top. Hold it there at that seam, just stretch it out so that it meets, so that the rib band stretches out to meet the fabric. And then I'm just going to sew it around to there. Checking the shoulder seam again, making sure it's sitting nice and flat. Okay, then when you get around to that halfway mark, you stop again, find the next point, the three quarter way mark, line your edges up, stretch the rib band out to meet the fabric. And just trimming off any bumps or uneven edges as you go. Okay, once you get around to there, on the homeward stretch, so you can stop and get the work organised again, find the end, make sure your edges are even. Check the shoulder seam, make sure it's pushed correctly to the back and then we're just going to run over the overlocking for a couple of centimetres at the end and run over and then run off the work. And that's our neckline finished. And so at some point that can be pressed down um, with the seam pressing down towards the body of the t-shirt and that's neckline finished.